Detroit Animal Control facing criticism tonight. Pet owners say conditions there were so bad, their dogs died. The accusations follow a lawsuit alleging animal neglect and abuse at that facility. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked with some of those who blame Detroit Animal Control for their pet's death. Kim, no doubt they're heartbroken. It really is, Glenn. And the, sto the stories are just so sad, and these are just some of the people who blame Detroit Animal Control for the deaths of the dogs they loved. Uh, to this day, I feel bad because I had to pick between which one I wanted, which dog that I want. Well, I had to, I had to pick. Floyd Hardrick is talking about his two dogs, both seized by Detroit Animal Control in July, when one of them was running loose near his house. But Floyd could only afford the fees to get his dog Rock out, and Rock died four days later. He was coughing and mucus. He wanted to bark, but he couldn't. His bark sounded like. Ah. Every time you open his mouth, that's the only thing that came out. The dog Floyd could not afford to have released was taken with her one week old puppy. Floyd says he was told not to bother trying to get the puppy back because it wouldn't survive after being inside Detroit Animal Control. The mother was put down and the puppy died in its cage. I was told that even if I do get her out by the puppies being so young, that they would be sick. When Action News cameras were finally allowed inside Detroit Animal Control for the first time, we saw these young people puppies, but Detroit Animal Control refused to release them to a rescue for the remainder of their hold period, leaving many to wonder if they'll survive. I, I just can't see him just dropping dead like that. There's no way. Frederick Weems, eight-year-old beagle mix named Scrappy, was recently taken by Animal Control during an eviction when he was at work. He told Animal Control he would be able to afford to get him out this Friday, but on Monday they called him and told him Scrappy was dead, and they wouldn't tell him why. It hurts. It hurts very much. He was my life. And today, a day after rescue groups finally won the battle to begin pulling dogs out of animal control, the director, Harry Ward, was called to meet with the city's law department to discuss a lawsuit by a former employee who was alleging horrific conditions. Attorney Tamara French started Citizens for Change for Detroit Dogs and Cats. It's a black eye for the city. You can be sure that people who have dogs are going to think twice before they decide to move into Detroit once they're seeing these reports. It's terrifying. And coming up at 6 o'clock on Action News, what does the state have to say about the disgusting way some of the dogs are fed here at Animal Control? And why does the director, Harry Ward, say one dog he loves here will never leave this place? That and much more coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. And the sad part, Kim, is that you may not have the money, but that doesn't mean you love any less. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it really is so devastating. I mean, people just can't afford the fees and their dogs are put down in many cases. A lot of unanswered questions. Kim, thank yeah. you so much.